compare anybody to Virginia. That's what maybe South Carolina with the defense. This is very difficult to play against if you're unaccustomed to it. Hunter left alone. Run with a guard who's faster with the dribble than a guy in a dead sprint in Alvarado. You got to pursue those opportunities. A fake and finish. They got a lot of guys who make plays. Perez can make passes too. Eight assists one game. And nothing stretch for Virginia with that basket. Jimmy were teasing about the Larry Bird look. He said he's his favorite player. Oh, yeah. He'd like over to Oklahoma in conference play against Florida State. Very athletic. Not as big, though, do you think? No, not at all. So he is still learning, guys. He is, and he's learning a lot just this weekend in Columbia, South Carolina. Here's Key. Seeding right now, eight seed, nine seed, second time they've played in three weeks as the Longhorns go for the sweep over the Bears for the first time in five years. Here's Marco Anthony. The ball, first basket and 550 for the Sooners. We must clamp down on this end. Look at that nice. pass. Look at that pass from Virginia. Virginia right now has matched its largest deficit of the entire season. They were once down 14 in one of the Duke games. I would not show any more ball screens. Let me see if they what they do coming off. Of. Jeff Cable, the pit coach, said he's perhaps the best low post player in the ACC, he has certainly shown, as he did there, the ability to step outside as well. Well, he's the best low post passing big guy in the league, and I'm not sure it's close. He thought he got on top of the post, man. That was really good. They don't block a lot of shots. He's their team leader with 29. Jerome or Deion. Self going with an easy layup for James. I'd like to see Oklahoma's defense, though. Pressure the ball a little bit better. Everything right now, Virginia moving the ball around side to side, doing whatever they want. Fought against Old Miss, they did a good job of denying them, making life difficult. Capel litigating a little bit on behalf of his guard. It, is, uh, it has been a real grind for Pitt. We talked about trying to get early points and possessions, and they have not been able to do it. Just coming up with uh, the eight turnover games. Potter. Oldsboro, oh. Georgia. He's got seven. Balance scoring as you would expect for the Seminoles. Jerome, shovel pass, Saul of the pack line defense. And force Virginia to guard in space one on one. Kofer on Hunter right now. Better matchup, you would think, for Florida State, given the size that Coker has. Parents man on Kyle Guy not helping at all. You go Ted Burning, they go to all the home games. They have bought in the crowd on this defense. They love it. They relish it. And Tony is an icon, obviously, for what he's been able to do there year in and year out. That's who they are. It's their identity. Here's Huff. And being named the conference tournament MVP. See, this is where your principles work against you on that defensive end. I know it's sound and it's what you do all year. Sometimes you have to make a little bit of This is President 44, Obama. Their neighbors growing up in Chicago. Good chance he's watching the game right now. He is a basketball. Loves the tournament. They they rally. What a defensive <laughs> possession right there. Helping the multiple, multiple efforts. Jerome. Tough. Makes a shot. He's going to get whatever shot he wants. Funderburg's doing a great job of helping in the lane. Number zero. He got a wide open one last time. He'll get one right here if he wanted. I would imagine not see, even though he is over on the bench. There's Hunter for Clark. But you got a feel for a guy like Wilson Crane, a senior who endured last year, stuck around. You know, maybe he could have transferred somewhere else. But Cavaliers will draw Louisville here next Saturday. After the Monday night ball game at the Carrier Dome, Pittsburgh is off to Miami and then finishes with Notre Dame next Saturday at the Peterson Event Center. It's an interesting final week of play in the ACC. I'm really looking forward to seeing my good friend Dick Rose when we visit. For the last six tournaments, the number one seed has won the whole thing. It's going to be one heck of a tournament this year. A lot of teams 
vying for the opportunity to hoist the hardware. It's going to be hard to pick right now. A lot of teams have impressed me. Virginia putting on a display here. Which has lost the last three head-to-head -head against Virginia. And averaged 51 points per game in those three. Has 53 already tonight. They have controlled the pace in the second half. After Virginia dictated the flow in the first. Guys. Roll number two for him, and it's a 15-point Virginia lead. And it's five to go. And he's a guy you know he's going to be throwing 22% of the three, so you've got to give him some space. And they, they can beat you over the top. Jerome. Five to shoot. Got the series. Well done by Chris Mack. Out of the timeout. Second most improved score in college basketball, Jordan Roar. Average 17 a game after five a game last year. Jay Huff has gravity ability right now to stretch five. He just found that three point line. They loves to press under Kevin Keats. He said the problem when you play Virginia, it's so hard to score, you don't get that many opportunities to press. Well, yesterday I thought that their pressure in the second half against Clemson, forced Clemson to miss what a good-looking shot. Look at this.